Jesus. Elliot Sussupo. And the free ball. Is it? Spencer isn't sure whether Sless is able to see a red in the pack there. Full ball. That's the red, the yep, and he's called a free ball. So we'll see this brown again. Brown ball, thank you. Could also take the green, but brown's the ball. No mistake this time. Of course, Slesser has beaten him convincingly on two previous occasions. But that one's gone quite significantly wrong. I expect him to pot it, stun out for the black. Swap. Mistakes. And they have been costly. I wonder if he could have his time again, whether he'd have played safe on the cutback red, which was so tricky. It was a very positive okay. shot choice to go for the frame. He's not straight enough on the red to play for the black. He could play for the pink, and then there's a red at the back of the pack there that would go. Nice. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Now, he could play up for the red by the blue. I'm pretty sure he's going to go into them. But is he on one? And look at the table. If he had been on one, every chance he'd have been going two up with three to play. But he's found one. What a pot. <laughs> yeah, what a pot. It's a fantastic potter. A bit of pressure on this one as well. Theoretically, anyway. He's playing it with a lot of right hand side on the cue ball. Four, yeah, six, nicely six, played. And again, <laughs> hasn't landed favourable, but still on the green. He's sure to be thinking about that red at the back end of frame two. And then the brown he missed at the start of the third frame after that stupendous long red. Yeah, just have a look where he's placed the cue ball there. He's got choice of three reds the way he played the green. So Sullivan's lead now 19 with the blue to come and no reason why he shouldn't make it three on the bounce here. 14. It was a superb recovery red when it looked as though the break might be over just now. He looks very sharp. Well, he's put all the effort in the world into this match, hasn't he? 55. But well, you can, be sure, to. you can be sure, Joe, that it would have hurt him to lose to Slesser in the way he did in the previous two meetings. I mean, they weren't close. Yeah, that's right. And he knew how good Slesser was with those two beatings that we got from him. So he knew what he had to do, and that's to really compete. 61. Give it his all. Hasn't done much wrong, Elliot. 62. But what he has done wrong has cost him. Shot time coming down with every passing pot. 
patience to play plenty of safety given every shot due consideration he's needed a bit of help from Slesser as well because he could easily have been two frames down and really under the cosh and he's barely missed a ball that's mattered There's a very unfortunate noise there. I don't know who it was from. I've, I've got my suspicions. Well, I thought the wind was in our studio. <laughs> oh, goodness me. It was... Uh... <laughs> well, he couldn't be any redder, could he? If he was any redder, he'd be one of the, the balls in the, in the bunch. Oh dear. It's a good shot from Matthew. He knew there was a big area to get that hide that cue ball behind by the pink or black. I tell you this is a worry now. Uh, Sullivan could be twenty eight in front, but I don't know what it means where the balls are and given oh. the snooker he's in. Matthew Stevens four. Yeah, he hit the red. It was a bit of a blur. He hit the red, but he's gone in off. Kinds happening today, isn't there, in this match? All kinds. The balls are not, have not gone safe. That was the one thing O'Sullivan could have done with something finishing on a cushion. That might be the reason he hit it so hard. But nothing's gone on the cushion. One. What a chance for Matthew Stevens. Yeah, big chance to go within a frame of victory in this match. And of course, the other thing, just to put all of that nonsense of earlier in this frame six. behind him, and pop these six balls. Eight. Eleven. Fifteen. Not perfect by any means. Playing ball, cue ball's coming f across to the left of the table near that left side cushion too much. So maybe I might go up and down here. That's what he's done. Twenty. Taking the scenic route. Got a massive bounce off that bolt cushion. Might have come in his favour. He's not a great lover of using the rest. He might be able to reach it now. I think he can. <laughs> Take the positives. So he needs pink and black to steal the frame. Got O'Sullivan in a good snooker, in fairness. 26. I don't know if he can reach this. We can left-handed. Matthew Stevens, 26. Whatever next, whatever next. Not finished. <laughs> I mean, if that, that bounces three inches off the cushion, it's unmissable. Now it is missable. Matthew Stevens, oh, 26. Point is, he just doesn't like using the rest. Didn't go for the black. I'm amazed, but he's taken the. 
very, very cautious approach, and he's, he's done it well. Very dramatic frame this, Dave, isn't it? An option of keeping the cue ball safe. That uh, looks to be no. scenario but this time the double I think is interesting him <coughs> he does play the double if it doesn't go in he doesn't want to hit the far jaw and the black come back towards the cue ball that's always your worst fear on this shot that's exactly what's happened Oh, we've seen all sorts missed already in the frame. So nothing's guaranteed, including this black. Matthew Stevens, what a golden chance he had to win this frame. Seven in the frame. And Ronnie O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan has knocked the black in, and somehow he's levelled up. Dramatic stuff. It's where you kind of look at the break time and four minutes and a few seconds, and he's almost won the frame. Yeah, the longest frame in this match so far was frame two. That was 12 and a half minutes. It's the longest frame. So a couple of balls away from going back in front because he won the first frame. Oh, he's missed that one. Wow. Just needed the black as well. Sixty. Well, it's one of those. If Sullivan can pop this red and get in, it might be a costly miss. One. Too early to say he'll win the frame, but should he do so, it would hurt that man sitting there. He missed a very easy red there. Be wrong to say he rushed it, because it's clearly that's how he plays all the no. time. You can't have it both ways. Just came out of nowhere. to do next couple of shots not easy even this cut back red twenty five wants to be a little bit careful with the amount of points he takes here I don't think he can afford too low a value colour Six points to play with. He's just checking that out. I think if he plays on the blue, that will be more than enough. But should he take anything lower in value, then he is running a bit low on reserves on how many points he can afford to drop. the way it was a good shot that he's got a little angle here he may have the angle to move the red oh, what a delight absolutely delightful shot the shot before on that one in a row magnificent as I say just came out of nowhere he's going so well looking so confident
got to finish this off now and, and that was a nice shot with left hand reverse screw everything's available we just got to join the dots really all the momentum was with the tie let's turn round I don't think Ronnie's entirely comfortable out there. Lots of, lots of uh, grunting and groaning. And now you hear him again, deep breaths. Fifty-two. Still pulling the balls. Not reflected in what he's doing on the table. Fifty-seven. This clearance is why Ronnie O'Sullivan is a great champion. 63. Yes, he's pounced and punished the error. A big error from Tepchar. This frame should have been his. And the frame. Broke down on 66, missing that red. Ronnie O'Sullivan has stepped in with a killer clearance of 70. And Ronnie O'Sullivan is one away from victory, leading 3-2. It's a real let off. I think yellow it is. Good pot, and he's found the gap nicely. Well, he could have done with being a little bit closer to the red. He can still get Thank the shot. I was describing, cannon to red brings the black into play. Oh, what a beautiful shot. That could be the winning shot of this frame. He doesn't need that difficult pink. What a delightful shot that was. 121 the break in the first frame. Oh, look at the side on the cue ball. <laughs> and now it checks. Beautiful shot. Dean. Sullivan's got problems here. Ding is playing seriously well. Ding Excellent. He can get to it. But it made it a little bit more difficult. Sullivan. So that missed red in the end only cost him 13 points. One. Yeah, to come out for the black. Oh, another very aggressive shot. I didn't think he had to play it. What's he looking at here? Surely not. Well, that shows you how confidence is feeling. But surely this is going to cost him. Can he get the cannon to those three reds near the right corner? The answer. He's on them. 47. Standing off the other red. Decided to play a little kiss. It looked easier to s screw onto the red half ball. Although it's a tough table at the moment. In a few shots, it may not be. So maybe time to put something safe. Well, I think I'd have favoured a ball safe. Sullivan's brain burst, the time being arrested.
you might be tempted here. Sat, sat there waiting for him. Good pot. Well, he played the pink to be able to disturb Seven. those reds. And if this works out, Ali Carter may wish he'd have well put a ball safe rather than trying to get seven points for the black. Eight. Well, <laughs> they're all developed bar one. Worth another look at that shot because he played the red on the cushion to hit the other reds as well. 15. The big target was the two reds, but he played the red Eight. onto the other reds and it couldn't have worked out any better. Well, I suppose it could. The other red could have come off the cushion. 15. And that's potentially Carter's <laughs> last saviour here. Everything else in the open. Oh. Well, now Carter 22. will wish you to put something safe. This really would be the icing on the cake if O'Sullivan could clear up here the victory. 23. A couple of sublime shots to release the awkward reds. Oh, when he came to the table, Philip, well, you wouldn't have said that there's a clearance on, would you? No, that's how quickly truly great players can change 26. the shape of a frame, of which O'Sullivan is undoubtedly one, perhaps the greatest. 27. Well, nobody can play the game like this man when he's on form. Carter, as always, has given it everything today. Potentially for the 14th 32. time in 15 attempts, could prove to be in vain. This match and this frame now at the mercy of O'Sullivan. 34. The only awkward ball is the brown. Being left handed would help him. 37. Just over screwed that one. Not straight enough on the brown. It's going to be difficult to get to the blue. Mike Grimace O'Sullivan. 41. So, one good pot. That's all it's going to take to put him into the final. One good pot. Oh, clean as a whistle. It's a different man. Yeah, this has been magnificent stuff from O'Sullivan since falling 3-1 behind. 52. Carter powerless to do anything about it. 59. From the subdued to the sublime, Ronnie O'Sullivan, for the third time in three seasons, reaches the Northern Ireland Open final. He has defeated Ali Carter by six frames to three.